whenever you're ready. This is where we stand in opposition of the 1AC. Please go to observation number one, the definitions. We all agree that the definitions are adequate and appropriate to context. Please go to observation number two, the criteria one and criteria two. We also find that the criteria is appropriate and irrelevant to context. Please go to observation number three, the application 1A and 1B. The affirmative states that because of the U.S. military budget, the U.S. states the troops decreasing size and effectiveness. Nowhere in their criteria do they mention a budget which shows the application that does not corresponding to the criteria. The affirmative claims that the U.S. United States troops are decreasing is irrelevant because it is out, it is an outdated source and is outdated by up-to-date information. The affirmative source is dated 2014, while mine is more accurate and dated 2017. The United States military proposes an abundant amount of troops. According to the International Institution for Statistics Studies, written by an article by Richard F. Kennedy, Chief Financial Officer of the Department of Housing and Urban Deployment, published March 22, 2017, accessed February, February 11, 2018. The United States has approximately 1.3 million active, duties, uh, active duty troops, inclu including 640,000 in the Army and the Marines. They respond, but it is less than we had 10 years ago, yes, but slightly. That is because we were, we were fighting two major wars at the time. I, I reminded them that the United States also has more than 800,000 troops in the reserve as a National Guard ready for deployment. Moreover, the Deployment Defense has 700,000 civilian employees and a strategic number of consultants supporting the troops, one of the largest fighting forces. Please go to Observation 3, Application 2. We agree that the drones are small and unmanned aircrafts. For new innovative technology, but we do not agree that it corresponds as a major potential threat. We believe that there are two other greater potential threats to the United States, such as inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. Ballistic missile warfare between countries is a method of combat in the United States preparing and utilizing innovative technology. Jan Damasco is managing editor, editor published by Innovative Week and in Space Technology on May 5th, 2017, access February 2011. February 11, 2018, there was a $1 billion contract to resign the kill vehicle for ground base innovators. It supports the incoming missiles, letting us know that there are missiles that we could, missiles that are multi objective <coughs> vehicles give missiles more flexibility. It gives us the flexibility to know that there's a missile coming and it's a more effective way to know. Also, the U.S. military defense is neutralizing future threats by using multi objective key vehicles. Is also allowing us. It's also allowing us to update our technology, and it also allows us to update our technology in a cheaper and a costly way, without going over our budget. Please vote for the favor of the negative. I now stand cross ready for cross examination. Okay. Um, can you please restate uh, your full source citation for your? Quote that you gave. Mm -hmm. JJ Moscow is managing editor of the Public Aviation Week of Space Technology on May 5, 2017, access on February 11, 2018. Can you state your second? The the Second quote, the United States has approximately 1.3 million active duty troops, including 640,000 in the Army and the Marine Corps. They responded, but it is less than we had 10 years ago, but only slightly because we were fighting two major wars. Uh, can you <coughs> give me the source for that quote? It is the aviation space technology. Okay. Um, you say that um, you don't believe uh, drones are a threat as compared to other things, but um, do you think drones are absolutely no threat to the U.S. military or the U.S. General? I don't think they're not an absolute threat. They could be a threat. They're, as you guys wanted to say, one did land on the, the White House, so it could be a potential threat, but I don't think it's a major potential threat. 
it landed on the White House. So it's not it landed on the lawn of the White House. Uh, just because it landed on the lawn doesn't mean you have to make it inside. The White House is covered by FBI, and you can get any closer. Uh, was it um, undetected or detected? Do you know? It was actually undetected. That, well, it was undetected when it landed on the White House, but we do now have updated um, technology that will allow us to detect incoming missiles that are more potential threat. Time.